we decided uh, to choose Goa for our home for the preparations for every game, uh, only for Kolkata game, Bangladesh. Yeah. We we against Bangladesh. We decided to have preparation camp in Kolkata. It's much more convenient than organizing the flights up and down and. You know, but the rest of the qualifying games we're going to come here for our preparation camp, and we feel good here. I need to say we feel good. This is the atmosphere and environment good for preparing the football team for the qualifiers. Because we we know about the bad news within the team about Amarjit getting injured. Yeah. So yeah. what's the what's the good news that you can give us from the team? You know about Amarjit. Yeah, it was it was frustrating day to be honest. Last five minutes of the training session, he collided with with Danas, and the result was very bad. You know, so we, we lost one uh, uh, young, talented guy for a couple of months, who was at the high point of his form. Uh, I think that he's the player which I used most in last five games. Uh, he was bringing us what we needed in the middle of the pitch. He was, never mind his age, but he, he on the pitch he looked like 29-year-old guy who had 200 games behind him in his legs. He was disciplined, he was holding position, he was aggressive, he was fighting for each ball, winning most of the second balls, which was the problem for Indian team in the past. And now we lost it, so we need to forget about that. We went to see him in the hospital last night to visit it, to pay him a visit. Uh, he's joining us today. He will be released now after the lunch, and hopefully he will get back soon. His place is there. He deserved it with the national team, and soon uh, as he gets uh, well, he will join us. Uh, does it upset your plan by any chance? Uh, you have to alter your plan for it. We need to be ready for for everything. You know, even. Circumstances like this, which are not welcomed, we need to be ready for them. There are other players. That's the reason why we were preparing more players than usual. You know that we started each one of our camps with 35 players, and after a few days releasing the players who were not matching conditional uh, fitness uh, uh, numbers, or either who were at that stage uh, behind the others on their positions, you know. Uh, most of the players were very good conditionally after these two campaigns we had in Delhi and Mumbai. Uh, their conditional level is top, so we are ready for the games. We were working on improving our positional game, our technical tactical points, so we'll see what, what the future games will bring us. Coach, uh, how big a challenge uh, would Oman pose for any? It's a very big challenge. It's a very big challenge because we don't have positive score. We don't have score at all with them. Out of seven games in the past, we, we never won. We had some draws, but in friendly games, we lost all official games. Last two were 3-0 three, three years ago and 2-1. Eight months ago, I think we played before the Asian Cup a friendly game, which was a draw. Friendly games cannot tell you much, but we are very confident. So we'll see what the. You are confident it will be interesting football against Oman. I think it's going to be a very interesting game. Very interesting game because we have something to offer now, and it's not about kick and chase. No, it's about some different approach. I, I put always a praise to Mr. Constantine work. You know why? Because he didn't have any other option. That was the only way he could play. You play the football in regards to the players you got. So how do you change so soon? How do you think about this change so soon? Yeah. At the Radiation Cup uh, in January, we were playing uh, just kick and run, defend, defend, defend. Yeah. Now we keep ball, pass around us. So. Listen, he was working for years with a certain group of players. And they built up the confidence between them and the others, which 
I'm using now are young now. You know, imagine how young they were <laughs> four years ago when he started his yeah. program. So all praise to him for the results. He was not lucky. He was not lucky. If he was uh, having just a bit of luck in the AFC, I wouldn't be here. He would still be here with you <laughs> or, in some, or in some better place, you know. But let's, let's, be, let's be honest about things, you know. Uh, I was brought here to, to change the mentality in our game, to change the way we play, uh, to bring up and develop more technical football for Indian. Uh, not only for that, to taking charge of senior and under 23 team, but more of bringing my experience about how to develop and restructure the football in the country. You know that I'm coming from Croatia, which is probably in regards to the size, the, the best football country in the world, I can say. Croatia is biggest exporter of the professional footballers in the world, comparing to the population and how many professional players we are having in the pro best professional leagues. Uh, I was part of that development for the last 15 years. And being in all different positions, I consider myself, and not being over uh, subjective, as a person who can give advice and propose and suggest how to do things. Uh, can we do that? Can we follow that? It's so big difference, you know, when you look in India, how big it is. Such so much variety in culture between the states, uh, languages, uh, uh, mentality, uh, everything. You know how to put all that into one structure to produce the final result for the national team in regards to football. It's not going to be easy, but if we don't try. We're not going to make it. But we need a, to try. I suppose you will have to develop a no. different structure here in India as compared to what you all developed in Croatia because of the difference. Well, we were talking no? before, it's, it's far different because I told you that in regards to small population in Croatia and uh, losing our, our players too quick. You know, we developed the player, we started at the age of six without uh, youth programs. Uh, until the age of 14, we are just working on technical elements. So making the players know everything about technical points of the game. So when you come to Croatia and take the kid with 14 years, uh, he can do with the ball whatever you like without looking at the ball, you know. Passing, moving, uh, technical points, perfect. From 14 to 16, 17, 18, we're developing the fitness conditions. Uh, muscle strength, explosive power, and whatever it takes to make him strong. So he can be powerful to present his technical ability, you know. And at the 17, 18, he's ready to take the part in professional football team. He signs professional football contract. But immediately when he starts playing, he is in the books of the best European yeah. scouts. And one year later, he's gone. 10 million, 15 million. So we need to have another one for his position. It's, a, it's, it's such a speed of uh, losing the players so quick, but spending 10 years in development process to use in one or two years, and then another one coming in. Uh, we don't have that problem here. We don't have any player playing abroad. All right, mm. but the time will come if we develop the structure. If we put the things right, then I'm quite sure that some of the young players we are having here will get into the books of the foreign scouts. Yeah and there will be interest shown about their capacities. So we'll see, we need to work on that. Yeah, uh, Coach, uh, looking at the group that India find themselves in, what is the realistic uh, possibility for us? Uh, a realistic answer is uh, we need to make sure of uh, getting the third position 
and making sure that we keep going for the qualifiers for the AFC. Uh, what would I like to do? Win all the games. <laughs> and we're going to try to do that. Is that realistic? <laughs> Some might say you are crazy, but if I don't think like that, I will never win any game. You know, so. Even when I was uh, taking Al Shahania to play Al Saad, you know, players were joking, you know, either we get six or seven, you know, but the approach to the game and uh, creating environment of uh, champions and uh, winning environment in br brings positive things into the dressing room which, which can produce results whoever you play against. And that's the mentality we are building up here, you know. So with uh, respect to that, uh, how's the morale within the squad? What are the boys? Uh, how upbeat are they? Very confident. Very confident. Not overconfident. We are building up our game. We exactly know what we need to do, when we need to do certain things, and why we're doing those things. Uh, more important, I mean, there is nothing more important than result, of course, but uh, I have two aims here with the Indian team. Of course, it's my aims are produced by the wishes from the Indian supporters. They want our team to play exciting football and win the games. And these are my aims. I need to please them. So my work is based on everything which will produce that India starts playing exciting football and winning games. Is that going to happen tomorrow? Realistically, no. Is that going to happen in the near future? Maybe. Is that going to happen in two years' time? I'm quite sure. I'm quite sure. Uh, but it's not all depending on me and my stuff and the players. There are other things which are to follow and to help us so we can get better in shorter period. Is it a bit of a risk, coach, to have such an approach, especially for you? Sorry? Is it a bit of a risk for you? Are you, are you risking too much? When you say risking, uh, we are not world champions. What we can lose? I mean, what is our point in the football game at the moment? Where are we? Quite low. Is it worth risking losing 20 position at the FIFA ranking in, instead of uh, winning 50? I think it's worth What about I a personal risk, coach? Personally for you, yeah. Personally for me, I was always taking the biggest challenges. I was never afraid of one. And I can tell you, in few in few situations, I took uh, a responsibility of the places which nobody wanted. Everyone was afraid. Oh, what is that going to do? That's going to hurt my CV. You know, it's going to look bad. And that. The job is the job. Our job is the same everywhere. Either you know what it takes, what you need to do. Or just leave it. Don't don't work anywhere because calculating doesn't bring any good to the dressing room. Calculations are not welcome. You know, how are we going to calculate now against Oman? We know everything. This game will define our further approach to the games. So we're going to fight with Oman and Afghanistan for the second position. Yes, yeah. Oman is far better than Afghanistan and we are playing at home. So are we going to calculate that? No. We are going there to win the game. That's very clear. Because if we win the game, we have a clear chance of finishing second. If we don't win the game, but not losing it, we are still in the game for the second position. If we lose that game, that it's going to be quite clear that we need to make sure of 
being and having better results than Afghanistan and Bangladesh in the further games to make sure of the third position. What is important here? We are facing two best teams from our group in the first two games. We need to be ready as well for the worst case scenario. It's possible. Realistically, it's possible. Even losing losing possible. against Oman, losing against Kadir. I don't even want to think about that, but we need to be ready for that. That's how we approach the games. To stay high with the, and positive with the confidence, knowing that there are games to play, Afghanistan and Bangladesh in front of us, which we need to win to make sure of AFC qualifiers. That's, it, it, it's very simple, you know. And that's a realistic situation. Coach, uh, Indian attackers do not get uh, many opportunities in top, cl uh, top flight uh, club football here. So are you going to talk to the clubs with regards to uh, get them on board for your project? Uh, my plan is to, at the beginning of ISL, to visit all the clubs, all the managers. I already presented my schedule, my schedule of traveling and it was approved by IFF, uh, watching ISL games, meeting the managers, discussing the players' form and their abilities and everything. Uh, suggesting something to the clubs, I cannot do that. They are operated by some corporations, some people who understand sports, that's, that's a big investment. But discussing at the AIFF offices, uh, suggesting uh, proposing that will be part of my job. Uh, everybody is working already, you know. Probably you don't know everything, but you have seen that the progress has been made from reducing the number of foreign players from one number to another, you know. So there are now some intentions of preparing another step and all that. When the time comes, you will know everything, but our aim needs to be coming down and following the most of Asian Asian mm. countries with the, with the foreign player rule, uh, opening the space for the homegrown talents to play and helping the national team in regards to that. Yeah. What is your understanding of defeat? What is your concept of defeat? It's part of the game. It's part of, of the game. You know, this is the sport, and whoever thinks there is only one way of getting result, he's wrong. Whoever thinks there is only one result possible, he's wrong. Whoever didn't learn how to accept uh, losing the game, he will never be a winner, because he will never learn how to get down and then get up. You know, so, as Mandela says, don't judge me by my successes. Know, judge me by how many times I fell down and got up. That's. Coach, you know, uh, one of the area of concern for 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 for, for this particular team has been the defense. Uh, we considered three goals against Khorasan, four yes. against Tajikistan, five against North Korea. Yeah. Yes, you were. So, right. how much of an improvement uh, can we expect in the in the uh, at least in the match against Oman? And is, is Sunday's actually match fit? Uh, <coughs> is, is yes, difficult? we faced we faced many problems with the most important defenders uh, facing injuries, and there was a need to change many things, you know, we couldn't place the, the best possible back four uh, only once against Thailand yeah. and that four at the back is back now, you know, Sandesh was having problem with his injury, he feels okay at the moment, so he had a friendly game yesterday at the Bambolin, uh, we played 80 minutes all in all and he did well don't feel any pain. He's very important to us, you know. He's he's like like Iron Man there at the back. He's the one who is organizing the team from the back, who is pushing up everyone when it takes, who is communicating and playing simple, you know. Of course, uh, he needs to improve and he's working so hard. I need to tell you, he improved a lot as anyone else. But when I see each one of them, coming with a smile on their face and ready for the hard work, my heart is full of praise. You know, I'm so proud of them.
कुछ वट आर योर व्यूज ऑन नेचुरल नेचुरलाइजेशन ऑफ अ प्लेयर चाइना इज रिसेंटली पिक्ट अप अ ब्रजीलियन एन वट आर व्यूज ऑल्सो ऑन द पी आई ओज लाइक यान धांदा इज प्लेइंग फॉर स्वानसी सिटी वुड यू ट्राई टू गेट सच प्लेयर्स टू प्ले फॉर इंडिया we have uh, some wonderful players of indian or origin playing abroad you know but i i sincerely hope that uh, soon the time will come when we going to have understanding from the government and uh, uh, people who can uh, change the citizenship regulations in the favor of indian sport uh, all the countries in the world are using that right why we should be different from others giving the right to someone whose parents went abroad for certain reasons and he was born outside but he is from indian parents but not having indian passport why don't we let him pay back to this country to this wonderful country and get the chance to play for indian national team it's very simple Uh, you know how much that could help us we could improve 50% quality of our team immediately immediately with that change with that little change we could become one of top 8 asian countries in football immediately everyone else is using that right not only that some of them are using the right to give a passport to someone who's got nothing to do with their country just for money so there is a big handicap which we are finding there you know we are facing big handicap in regards to others so imagine if i could now have these six seven players who were born out outside who were developed in the great football academies of european clubs who were developed in different mentality I mentioned once that I need to work on changing mentality of Indian players to change the game. Of course, of course. But now, if I can get those six, seven players with mentality set up already as champions, how much we could get immediately, enormously, enormously. So hopefully, uh, soon the time will come when we. get the chance to to talk with with the ministry of sport foreign affairs you know i need to praise as well ministry of youth for helping to find to find the funds for for the women football as well for the coaches you know they are trying to help us i even heard that there was someone putting this question up for the for the parliament yes. to talk about you know so that's it's things are moving slowly you know but we need to speed up we need to speed up time is passing by